What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to James V Outdoors. I'm glad that you are here with me today. It is the final day of squirrel season, and it is just perfect out here. 70 degrees, a very light southwest wind. One of those days that if you could plan the weather, this is how you would draw it up. So I'm glad you guys are with me. I got a good feeling this afternoon we're going to see some squirrels. Stay tuned. The gun I'm working with today is this little teeny Winchester Model 290. It is a gun from the 1960s and 70s, a little 22 rifle, and it's actually semi-automatic, which is pretty neat. Um, I got this gun outfitted with a Simmons scope that I picked up at uh, the old Wally World and I got it sighted in and this thing is a tack driver so if we see a squirrel we can knock it down. In addition to the rifle I've got this high-tech state-of-the-art squirrel blind. Uh, it might look like a camping chair to you but come on use your imagination you got to believe. All right, y'all, time for me to get quiet and uh, quit talking, and uh, we'll see if we can get a squirrel to come in. There's a squirrel right there. Let's see if he comes in. I think we got him. There she is, boys. Squirrel is down. We've got some good eating tonight. We got the real setup here. We got this uh, Coleman camp stove from uh, 1983. Still going strong. Got the red hot. Some white flour. And the squirrel all cleaned up and dried out. Straight up Andrew Flair style right here. Got a beautiful sunset over the lake. It's just a great night. All right, so the cast iron's hot the next step. Get your Franks in a bag here. Oh, that'd be more than enough. Then drop your cleaned up squirrel right in there. Seal it up, Little, leave a little air in there. Give it a good mix. Let that Franks get all in there in your meat. Let it sit for one second, just like that. All right, next we're gonna pull out our squirrel. Take the squirrel and go right into the white flour. Ooh, that Frank's Red Hot feels good when you got a cut on your finger. Seal your bag up tight. Then give it a good shake and get all those pieces of squirrel coated. Don't leave them in there too long because they will uh, get soggy if you do that. Pull your squirrel out. Boom, right into the grease. There you go, fried up nice and crispy. While they're hot, just hit them with some of this uh, soul food seasoning. A little bit of salt, all you need. All right, let's see how it turned out. Probably a little overcooked, that's my fault. Good though, really good. Can't forget that one of the most important steps when you're doing this. All right, y'all. Well, I got some squirrel to eat, but I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you guys will subscribe and follow along for more videos. Just remember, there's plenty of adventure out there. You just got to get out there and do it. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time.